For somebody who is not well read in history, it would be so difficult for them to believe that the children of the people who went through this in 1945 are doing exactly the same to the people in Palestine in 2023 and for the last 75 years. They were expelled from several European countries. They went through the unspeakable horror of Holocaust at the hands of Hitler in Germany, and then they fled. While nobody accepted them, Palestinian people welcomed them with open arms. Then they started killing Palestinians and started stealing their lands, and millions of them were expelled from their own homes just so that more white people from Europe could occupy their homes. To the point that today Palestinians have become refugees in their own country. Even United Nations recognizes Israel as the occupier and Palestine as the occupied. But the moment you speak for Palestine today, you're told Palestine did it first on October 7. Well, history did not begin on October 7. If you really want to talk about October 7, then you're going to have to start talking about all the October 7s which Israel has done to Palestine for the last 75 years. This is not a Jewish problem; it's a Zionist problem, a human problem. Because we humans, once we attain a certain level of privilege, we become oppressors ourselves. Sometimes I feel human race is beyond help, beyond redemption. But then I tell myself that there is still innocence in this world. There is still good in this world, and that is worth fighting for.